Hey y'all, it's Nay, owner of Remark Creations. And today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to make the ribbon socks. And y'all know I don't like to talk a lot, I like to get straight into my video, so let's get to it. Okay, so I had this leftover fabric left from her tutu. I'm gonna show y'all this outfit. But um, basically, if you have the tool on the spool, you can completely skip this part. This part, I'm just going to be showing you how I cut it from my leftover scraps. So first of all, you have to make sure your scraps have at least six inches on it. So I'm gonna cut it right at six inches. Okay, so it's three different colors that I'm using. So I'm gonna be cutting two yards of each color. That way I can break it down one yard of each color in the socks. Remember, we're doing a total of three yards. So you have to cut double, cause it's two socks. So I'm gonna roll this out. And if you watch my videos before, you know I measure my yards from my table. And Okay, I have one yard, I'm about to just roll it up. Okay, one yard of lavender. Now I'm gonna cut another yard. Okay, so we have two yards of lavender separated. So we got one piece of lavender for one side and another piece for the other side. And I'm just going to be continuing with these same steps with my other two colors. So this is how I cut my fabric off the ball for the socks, but I'm using leftover scraps. So as long as your leftover scraps is at least six inches, you can use them for socks. Don't go wasting fabric. Y'all know we love to utilize all of our material. So do not throw those scraps away, okay? Okay, so now I'm cutting my last color. And again, I'm doing two yards, one for each side. And then we can get right to sewing. That's one yard. And this time I'm just rolling it up. So once I, it's a yard, so it's only 36 inches. So once I'm done cutting it, I just roll it up like this. So I have my two yards. So now let me go get the sewing machine and we can sew. Sometimes I like to do this, sometimes I don't, but I'm going to do it just to show y'all. I'm actually going to connect the ribbon. So I'm about to roll out the same thing how I just did the other one. I'm about to roll out two yards, but of course separately, cause it's one for each sock. So I'm gonna roll out two yards of each color ribbon that I'm using, and then I'm going to connect them. That way I can already have each um, end he sealed. So yeah. And then I got my yellow. Okay. 
Okay, so my last color is my blue, and I'm about to get ready to cut my two yards. Okay, so I'm cutting my last color, which is blue. And again, I'm going to be doing one yard, two yards, but just cut separately. So one yard, boom, another yard. And I'm about to just go ahead and you see all my ribbon get this step out the way at once. This is how you work smarter, not harder. I'm about to go ahead and heat seal the ends of all of these. Heat sealing is so important. If you don't already like work with ribbon at all, if you do not heat seal, it will fray so bad. So make sure you heat seal all ribbon. This is a major key, major step. Do not skip it. And I'm the type I be having to go through stuff like, it's like I be following videos, but I be having to see stuff for myself. And I definitely did it like when I first started sewing tutus a couple years ago. And I didn't, um, he still the ribbon. It wasn't for a client. I had it on my baby. When I tell y'all, by the end of the day, that ribbon was frayed so bad. So if you want to know people who just like to find out stuff on your own too, just to see why, like you want to know the why, definitely try it out just to see because it's ugly. Or you could just take my word for it. Make sure you heat seal. Major step, major key. Okay, so now that I have every single last one of these heat sealed, I'm about to get my sewing machine. And before I start sewing the fabric, oh, I'm actually going to attach the ribbon. So remember, I have two of each color. So I'm using three for each sock. So three different colors, each sock. But first, I'm gonna attach the ribbon. Hey, y'all gonna thank me for this because it makes sewing it way easier. Okay, so I'm going to, I have my ribbon. Basically, what I'm going to do is fold them right sides together and I'm going to sew a straight stitch. So let me show y'all how that looks. Make sure y'all cut off any, um, threads so this is how it looks but when you open it it looks like this so the ribbon is already attached now i only have to attach the pink and i'm going to do it the exact same way i'm going to put my right sides together okay so put them together like this and so So it'll look like this. So it'll just look like one long string. It's gonna be super easy to sew. Um, the um, the ends are already sealed. So this is just gonna be a super easy sew after this. So yes, if y'all follow my steps, it's gonna be so easy. Just watch. And I'm using my um, thread cutter on my machine. I've been using it a lot. So I'm just cutting off the extra thread. Okay, so now that my ribbon is all attached, it's already heat sealed, so I do not have to heat seal again. I'm about to start my socks. I like to put my tension on the highest, so I'm gonna put my tension on nine. This was a little off. This wasn't cut good at the beginning, but it's cool. I'm just folding. So I have it open like this. Mind you, you're gonna have two pieces because I cut it off the ball. So it's gonna be two pieces. Now I'm going to just fold it in half like this. And I'm gonna tuck this a little bit because this was too long. I cut it too long at the tip. So it'll look like this. And I'm going to put it on my sewing machine. So make sure you fold it. And then I'm just going to sew it with a straight stitch all the way through. I'm 
I'm going to grab another color and do the same thing. Also, keep in mind, make sure you're sewing on the side. Make sure you're sewing on this side, the ugly side. This is the side that's going to be facing the outside. Make sure you sew on the ugly side. So once again, I'm going to open it like this, fold it in half like this. And then I'm going to sew straight stitch. Always make sure you back stitch. Okay, so this is my last piece and I'm just going to be repeating the same steps. Y'all see it's open. It's two pieces because I cut it on the board. But you want to fold that in half like this. And then you're going to put it under the presser foot and sew. Okay, and when you come to the end, make sure you backstitch as well. You always want to backstitch when you start sewing and when you're finished. So I do have a little bit, let me show y'all first time I cut these threads. I have a little bit of um, extra tool on it. I'm going to just cut it right where the ribbon at. So I'm going to cut this off. Okay, and that's one of them done. Now I'm just about to be doing the exact same thing. Make sure you sew on the ugly side. Okay, so now that I'm done sewing, I have my elastic here. I'm going to link the size of this elastic, but I'm going to be cutting off 8 inches. And of course, I'm going to do 2 because I'm doing 2 socks. Socks. Mm -hmm. Socks. Period. This is my mini. Baby. It's my baby. Baby. My pretty girl. Pretty girl. Say period. Say period. Like okay, so if y'all been watching my videos, y'all know I use this to feed it through. So you just hold it down like this and then you pull down this circle thing to clamp it. And I'm gonna use this to feed my And a ribbon is already attached, so it just makes it so much easier. Yeah, I got to cut all this. Okay, so once you get to the end, this is how they look. And this is her outfit, but this is how they look. So basically, once you're at the end, you have your loose piece, and then you have this. You want to, this little circle thing, pull it up so it can unlock. Like that. And then, sew these two together, which is what I'm about to do right about now. And also, make sure you turn your um, tension back down. I'm going to put it at about a three. I hate when they do that. <gasps> My top three just came out when I was sewing. I hate when they do that. So annoying. Okay. So one more little piece just to make sure it's nice and secure. Oh, and my top thread came out with. Y'all know what? 
I be so sick of my threads coming out. That is so annoying. Like, and sometimes I be making sure I, I don't think I, I didn't pull it this time, so that's my fault. But I still just hate when it does this. Like, stop doing it. And I have so much work to do today. I have to squeeze in this YouTube video. Okay, I pulled it. So yeah. Okay, so I gotta cut the thread off, but you just wanna feed your um fabric through the through the elastic. This is how it looks. So pretty. I have some thread that I have to cut. Because that's just the major key. You do not want thread all everywhere. That's not cute. Not cute at all. And that's not even high. How we do? You want crab legs? We just had crab legs yesterday. She was talking about she wanted crab legs. Okay, but this is how it looks. I'm gonna show y'all how to attach it to a sock on another video, but this is actually just gonna be an anklet. So this is how one look. Okay, so they look like this. So pretty. Okay, so this is how they turn out, and this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much, as always, for tuning in. I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible and keep these videos coming. Just let me know what y'all want to see next. I think I'm going to do a couple of vlogs too. So we're going to switch it up a little bit and just, you know, go with the flow. But they look so pretty.